Hello, everybody. How are you feeling today? Welcome to creatingwebsite.org, where our mission is to teach you how to create a website. And today I want to walk you through the process of us updating our slider here. I'm going to update this slider. This is behind the scenes raw footage. We like to give you raw footage sometimes of us updating our website. So that's what I want to do today. I'm going to change this slider here. So let's get into it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Photoshop. And this is the picture that I'm going to be using. So basically, I'm going to use the same picture that I have here, but I'm going to change some of this font. Looks a little bit busy to me, so we're going to go ahead and change that. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is go to my dashboard of DomainPriceCheap.com, which is a sister site of CreatingWebsite.org. Okay, so I'm going to go to my dashboard. Let me go ahead and do that, and then I'm going to go to MetaSlider Pro. If you don't have MetaSlider, we'll put a link in the video where you could get it. It's only $19.00 awesome awesome slider okay so we got a new slider we want to create a new one so we're going to hit the plus button and then we're going to go ahead and name it let's name it um, new home page okay and then we're going to go ahead and add slide make sure it's a layer slide and then we're going to go get our photoshop image that we just edited in photoshop which is that one there so i'm going to go ahead and grab that image which I believe I put it in here home page slider and I think I titled it blank home page let's see see if I could find it there it is right there empty I titled it empty okay so we're gonna upload our picture to meta slider pro and that's gonna be our background so we wanna hit add to slider okay so go ahead and launch your layer editor and you should have your picture so now we have a blank picture okay and what I want to do is I just want to put some simple stuff. I want to add a new layer. And then here we're going to put domain names. Okay, and spread it out. Make it big. Change the font size to 72. Let's go ahead and center it. We're going to bold it. And I think I'll change the font also. Let's see here. All right, good. Then we'll slide it to the middle. And let's go ahead and change this font. Let's make the color of the font. We're going to make it green. Okay. Um, and then we're going to make this background transparent. So let's go ahead and slide that all the way to the left. Now it should be transparent. Okay, I don't like the green. So to change the color, you just go over here to your font color. Let's hit white. Let me see how we could do it here domain names okay so what I'm thinking we're gonna have to do now is we're gonna have to go to Photoshop let me show you something here I'm gonna put add a new file and we're gonna go let's say 700 by 250 and nope it needs to be bigger let's do uh, 900 900 by 321 okay that's fine so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and type what I want here Okay, so what I want is domain names. So I'm gonna type D O M A N domain names. Okay, and we're gonna enlarge the font here. Let's make it bigger. Let's go ahead and go with 125. Okay, boom. And then I'm gonna put a shadow on it, or a stroke, I should say. So the one I'm gonna do is go to effects. Double click, that's your background shadow. Then I'm going to go to layers, double click effects, and I'll hit stroke, and that looks cool, but I'm going to do a white instead. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this font for the background of what we're trying to set up here, because I don't like that. So we're going to go ahead and create a font, or, you know, make a picture font. So we've got domain names. So what I'm going to do is hit file, save, and we're going to call this domain names okay and then we're gonna go save make it make it a JPEG so we can import it or actually a, a PNG so we can import it into our file and we're gonna call that domain names 
Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to our meta slider. We're going to do a new slayer, new layer, and add picture. Okay, and then we're going to go to upload file, select the file, and we're going to select the, the domain names that we just created. Okay, and then I'm going to insert that into the into the uh, slider. Let's get rid of new layer. Oops. Okay, and we'll come down here. And now that looks a lot better. So let's go ahead and make this background transparent. Hit choose. Get rid of this old one here. Slide this one down. And we're going to put it right here. Okay, now what we want is some fancy effects. We want it to slide down. So see where it says animation? We're going to wait about... No layer selected. Okay. We're going to wait about one second. And we're going to slide down from the top. So let's see, slide down from the top. Okay, maybe fade in from top. Fade in, let's see if I could find it. Fade in, okay, rotate in down left. Light speed in, bounce in. I'm looking for something from the top. Fade in down big, uh, bounce in up, bounce in left, bounce in down. All right, let's just try that one. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and hit save. So we got domain names. And then let's do one for web hosting. Web hosting. And then we're going to go file, save as. And we're going to call this one web hosting. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go to our new layer. We're going to add a file. Upload. Go to the file location and click web hosting once it's done uploading I'm going to go to add to slider and then we're going to slide this one over also okay and don't forget to get rid of this typing that's there before you import your picture got an R over here oops okay so let's go ahead and make the background transparent slide all the way to the left okay so then we're going to take this file we're going to put it right where that one's at Let's see. Okay. There we go. Put it right on top of that. So now you have two. You have web hosting and domain name. So what I'm going to do, this one's going to fade. It's going to bounce in and down. And then we're going to wait uh, two seconds. And we're going to make it fade out. Uh, bounce out. Ooh, let's see. Let's do just fade out. Boom. Okay. Now once that one fades out, you want this one to show up. So let's go ahead and slide this one right where that's at, overlapping it. And we want to wait three seconds. Because remember, you got one second intro for your domain names, and then it's going to wait two seconds and fade. So you add one and two, that's going to give you a total of three seconds. So after three seconds, let's do 3.2, that's going to give you time for web hosting to show up. And we want this to show up by, let's see, fade and down. Okay? And then after two seconds, we'll have this one fade out also. And we'll just have it fade out. Let me see. Fade out right. Okay, let's go ahead and hit save. And then let's go ahead and see what we got now. Okay. Let's go ahead and preview. Save and preview. Domain names. Should fade away. Web hosting. Okay, I like the way it fades, but it's a little bit too close to each other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back. And we're going to wait a little bit. Let me close this here. And I like the way it looks. It looks good. But we're going to wait a little bit on web hosting. Let's wait. Uh, let's see. 3.5 seconds. Okay. And then it'll fade in. Let's give it a little bit more time. I just didn't like how close it was to the other one. So let's hit save and preview. Domain names. Web hosting. Good. I like that. A lot better. A lot better. Okay. So then let's add one more. Let's put order now. Okay. So then we're going to go here. Let's go to our Photoshop. We're going to put order now. Then we're going to hit file save as and we're going to save this as order now 
Oops. Misspelled it. Okay. Launch picture or launch layer editor. Go to new layer. Let's go ahead and take the typing out now. So we'll have to do that later. And then we're going to select file or image. Upload file. Go to order now. J, J, uh, PNG. Make sure it's PNG. That way it could be transparent. Add to slider. And we're going to slide this one over. Make it big. Boom. Okay. Let's make the background transparent. You go to background, slide it all the way to the left, and you hit choose. So now you got, okay, let's look at everything. You got order now, and you got web hosting. So we got to figure out the time for the order now. Domain names waits one second and stays for two, so that's three seconds. Web hosting waits three seconds. 3.5 and stays for two so that's 5.5 seconds plus three seconds so that's eight seconds so we want to wait nine seconds and do order now okay so let's go up to nine seconds and we want this one to let's see how do we want this one to come in bounce in down okay let's do that and we want it to stay so we won't do any effects here we want that to stay on the screen but we do want them to be able to order so we're gonna click our hyperlink let's go to web hosting link copy link location and paste that there and we hit okay all right so that's gonna take them to our hosting our product where the our order page so let's go ahead and put these back on top of each other because we want them to appear where where the other one is at and you grab your order now want that up here where these are at and then you hit save let's go ahead and preview our work so we're going to save and preview wait one second domain names fades out web hosting should fade out uh what happened order now a little bit too late i miscalculated so let me go back and see once again this is behind the scenes <laughs> so let's see what we got see what we did wrong okay so you got order now okay and you got web hosting and you got domain names waits one second and stays for two so that's three and you got 3.5 stays for two and that's five. Oh, i see i see what i gotta do okay so let me see so 3.5 plus two so i should actually do 5.5 but let's do six because you want to wait till after web hosting is done which is a total of 3.5 seconds and two seconds so that's 5.5 okay so order now is going to come in at six seconds and it's going to stay there that should be a lot tighter let's check it out so we're going to put our fonts back okay hit save go ahead and close it and preview it save and preview okay here we go you load up the page domain names web hosting order now good stuff okay so now we'll want to do one more thing before i let you go i have you out my goal will be 15 minutes okay let me see one more thing what we want to do is you want to go to here and you want to close this and you want to put some hyperlinks on your uh web host on your domains and web hosting so just in case they click those so domain names let's go ahead and get hyperlink let's go over here where it says domain names copy link location and we're going to hit paste boom then you go to web hosting go get your web hosting link copy link and you want to click hyperlink selection and paste it in there so now you're good okay so now let's save it now everything has a hyperlink I got less than a minute left to reach my goal to have you out here by 15 minutes now all I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna activate the slider okay I'm gonna show you how to do that so we're gonna hit save uh, go ahead and close it out activate the slider you go to appearance theme settings and we called this slider, I forgot what we called it, but we'll see right now. Here's our sliders, our homepage sliders. We called it, what do we call it? New homepage, that's what we called it. So you go ahead and hit save settings. Now, when you go to domainpricecheap.com, you refresh the page, 
our new slider should show up. There it is. All right. Thank you for tuning in. This is creatingwebsite.org. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up if you like the video. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.